Hello, welcome back to a new video. Um, I think there's a hell tide active, but as I said previously in the other episode, I want to do it because it's pointless at this difficulty. It's really hard to gather materials for um, the Uber bosses, so I think it's better if we if we just. Uh, Continue doing um, Nightmare Dungeons. We have a couple of legendary items that I don't think we, we will use them. This two handed uh, axe, uh, sure, it's great. I don't know how do I have this sword to be honest because it's just bad. This is. Neither good. It's still uh, better than what I have. I don't know how I put this sword on me. I think we need leap. We don't need this. Um, we don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this. This one. <laughs> I will keep it at least for the moment. This is so strong. But uh, I don't think I will I need him. Like that this axe. Yeah. I think uh, these are the only one that we need. Okay, we don't care about this. Uh, I don't know what I did. Okay, let's see what uh, aspect do we have. We can do this uh, renegade retreat or let's do this plus 12 belfry zakara i don't think we'll have any issues should be 66 i think maybe we'll get higher uh, glyph that would be awesome Okay, destroy the drown bell. We need two of them. Let's take the materials because we are in need of materials. Okay, that's a problem because we didn't have an issue and we got stunned. We do, we didn't have a potion and we got stunned. So let's not do that. This is the bell. Okay, I don't care about the event. Okay, so that hit was 600k damage.
that overpower dealt a lot of damage so if you get lucky and maybe we can align something like this we can basically one shot i think the bosses Again, a 600k, my god. Bye, burn is not great. We'll take a board afterwards. Let's go to the bus. I think it's uh okay, it's that uh thingy. I don't know exactly what this is or was. Okay, we got a ring and uh, let's level up might because we don't have iron. I think I will go with um, blood rage. Let me check. Thing for this bonus, I think. I think we will keep it as it is. We should go here and after that there. Right? Uh, let me check. I think we need to rotate it. I think it's something like that and we should go here damage while berserking yeah and rage node yeah let's go let's attach the board and I think this is it we can go here also but I don't think we need fire resistance so first we should go here increase our damage while we are berserking so next let's check what did we get Another Belvi Zakara, it's really good, it's a 10 one, let's uh, move out and do it again. I didn't find the Butcher in this uh, run. Apparently, so I would really like to see exactly how my build uh, fares against the Butcher. I really need those veil crystals.
That was insane. <laughs> That was so fucking insane and awesome at the same time. Six hundred K, did you see it? Incredible. So much DPS. I think is what I like about this, it's really slow and basically when we pound them it's like a lot of damage and it's not that uh, slow to be honest uh, the clear speed it's really okay because we clear a lot and the, the effort let's say something like that the effort it's so low this is so good Okay, that uh, exploded and that was an issue, but let's put this uh, channeling spell to work, not channeling, channel eight, uh, channeling uh, whatever it is. Okay, so this was the dungeon, it was really quick to be honest, like I don't think I stood more than three minutes here. I don't know why I uh, stood in place like that. Brawling skills. Okay. Uh, did we get ire? Imbiber revenge. Nope. Let's level up the might then. Does this give us uh, a bonus or something like that? Okay, let's check again. Another um, Renegade Retreat Lights Watch. Another good one. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I don't know exactly why we always drop that key when we leave this dungeon it's so strange i think uh, the first moment we will get to worth it for i will start doing uh, before start doing uh, my uh, basically end game build i'll start clearing uh, the map uh, i will watch basically i will record myself but uh, i will put uh, different things on the titles just so you know because I won't do hard stuff, I will just focus on doing quests and uh, clearing dungeons around the map that I haven't cleared yet for the renown. Okay, let's get uh, this suffix is so annoying. Let's get uh, unstoppable. My god, they do a lot of damage. Come on, leave me alone. Come on, where are you, dude?
How the fuck did he disappear? Come on, he just teleported before my eyes. Let's move forward. I'll go here. Okay, this was it. There's an issue here that because we don't have the um, shouts up, so we need to basically dodge it a little bit. Bill free Zakara, it's a good one. Apparently, sword it's at uh, 10, so that's a plus. Okay, so how much do I have two handed stuff? Um, X. Let's roll up the sword. What does this do? Um, ten percent increase critical strike chance against vulnerable enemies. Oh my god, that's really nice. So it's really good to have an axe here. I think this combined with uh, this one will have a lot of critical strike chance, like a lot of. Wasn't uh, one shot, but uh, still, it was so good. Okay, so we got higher. That's awesome. Let's level it up because I think it's the best one that we can level it up fast. And I think I'll switch might with higher. Bye, bird. Ayer. Right now we have reduced damage and 30% damage while we are berserking. I should also maybe we can 
go and get this strength I can also go here to take this physical damage next yeah okay we'll have another point yeah let's go here for extra physical damage when we level up to level 15 we have another two points three here four it will be a lot okay uh belfry zakara i know that we have it around here let's do it to be honest in the late game if we don't find anything acceptable for the hammer of the ancients we can also go with um, um how it's called upheaval it's also good for us to be honest i don't like the play style of um, those uh, i don't know double swing i think it's called but the upheaval one i really like it so we can play with it i think um, from the zir dude we can find that uh, super nice uh, two-handed um, how it's called two-handed uh, hammer that uh, transforms uh, upheaval into fire damage so that should be nice if we get it together with the grandfather basically you can kill entire room it's similar with um, with hammer of the ancients but it has a couple of small variations but um, at least as uh, from playstyle perspective it's the same you build up your overpower and after that we smash it into the ground killing most of the enemies something like that To be honest, the overpower builds really suits the um, the how it's called the barbarian. When does he get invulnerability? Oh, from the bell. Okay, Marshall. It's also good for us, but the second one that we will level up should be uh, might. Imagine playing a upheaval build with uh, both of uh, uniques like Grandfather and uh, the other one. Basically, killing everybody. This engine is really good from the leveling perspective and it's not that long we are fully 45 we should have a lot of uh, critical strike chance versus uh, vulnerable dudes Uh, I think I should put that uh, let's go to town now uh, because I think I 
Yeah, I need to put that aspect uh, on myself that lets me move through enemies and it will give me a little bit more movement speed. First of all, we have a unique item, Magnus Opus, Ramaldi, oh my god. Uh... Okay, let's use it. I don't know. I don't know if it if it's good or not. But I don't know when did we find it. Damage with dual wield weapons. Damage to close enemies. Chance to restore primary resources. Maybe it's good for double swing. Anyway. Um This sword is awesome, but the axes are way better on this build. Uh, this one... I want to keep it. This one is not that great. Not that great either. Okay. Interesting. We have Ramaldi. Our damage should be really high, to be honest, at maximum fury. Uh yeah, let me imprint uh on my dude the this one ghost walker aspect. And let's see what uh, dungeon do we have. Grinding labyrinth, did facts barracks. Inferno, all stones. Sepulcher of the Forsaken. Uh, let's do Steadfast Barracks. I wonder how this Ramaldi will function with our build. We really need uh, a lot of fury. So, but we are building fury really fast, to be honest. So I don't think we will have any issues and uh, I think we will spice up a little bit our damage. Interesting. I think it's let me see. I think we dropped the one with the um, how it's called. Based on how much resource do we have, we deal more damage. But I think this Ramald it's uh, pretty good. Let me check how much do we do. Okay, we do a lot. Seems we don't lose too much fury.
okay that was a lot of damage skill using this weapon okay so it's just skills using this weapon So it's not that great on our build. It's point pointless to use it, so we can switch to a proper one-handed. Okay, I read the uh, wrong. So it's skill using this weapon. Okay, so basically we need to mace this anyway to increase our stun chance. Where is that obelix? Okay, so it's here. Such a bummer that the one... Uh the one um unique that we found we cannot use it Okay, this conduit is awesome. Let me clear this a lot faster. This dungeon. We get a lot of value from it. These are glyphs on the ground and I or I saw it wrong. You know what? I didn't found that scroll of escape. So so far nothing. Yeah, I dodged wrong, Ray. Okay, first of all, I want to go to Kyovishat and roll some maces and replace this weapon because it's useless on our build. So we have a couple of uh, bolts. 
Uh, yeah, I want a maze. Uh, so bad. Can we use this sword that we got? Or this axe? I think we can use this axe better. And put something better on it, like the one with the primary resources. To increase our damage a little bit. We have something here. Uh, let's put Edge Master Axe for this one. I think it's the best. I don't think we need these. Okay. Let's check what we have. Let's do this Inferno Nightmare. We did, did we do it? I don't know. At least it will help us a little bit with our infer uh, with our um, renown. I don't know how good it is. Uh, okay, so we need to collect the uh, animals. Far, not too bad. Not too bad. I think I did it once in the beginning. I think it was the only one that uh, I had it. Let's watch. That's great. If we go here, we get a lot of, so we get, uh, like, 30% uh, more berserk in duration. That's good. That's really good.
with the overpower I do around half a million damage I will say that's okay -ish. we are pretty tanky also and our resistances suck that's the issue we have zero resistances almost like check this out we should work a little bit towards uh, those because in War Tier 4 it will be really difficult to defend against some affixes Okay, that's bad. Or was bad. This dungeon is not that uh, bad. Okay, so without the shouts, we are so bad. Okay, we take a lot of damage for this. I think they are fire. Right, so we don't have fire resistance, that's why we take a lot of damage from them, as you can see. Without the shouts, it's really hard. Come on, where is that bloodstone? Fuck this. I won't do the ritual. Let's take it and move fast. So we need fire resistance for some fights. I think for Elias we really need um, lightning resistance. It's good that we have a lot. Because I think the fight <coughs> with him involves some uh, lightning damage. Let's watch level 13, we can do that afterwards. Okay, let's do a 13, uh, inf not Inferno, I hope I press the lights, watch one. I don't think I press Inferno, yeah. 
Okay. We will do this and after that <clears throat> I think I will end the video. Put a pause to it. I should be really careful. Because uh, we are starting to be left behind be off behind the because of uh, our resistances so we need to trade a little careful and not uh, from the physical standpoint there's no issue but as you saw that uh, dungeon involved uh, those uh, succubus whatever they are called and because we have so as you can see with the poison because we have so little poison resistant we take so much damage Of these dudes problem is that uh, I think I should start doing some health tides just to get the materials I want uh, basically I think I will do them but I want to uh, go for the big chests I'll try to find the items or something because it doesn't make any sense in the um, sacred difficulty because it will give you just one and a couple of elixirs so Okay, so we got a lot of levels in uh, this run and a unique but it's useless to us I think this damage uh, when I'm uh, damage reduction when I'm fortify it's really great for me I know that I miss a little bit more damage but man that helps a lot Come on, how many are you here? We are still coming. They barely gives you any experience.
Okay, at least it's so. Uh, that's a. Uh, a basically perfect roll. I don't know if barbarians can do a pet build, something like that. My god, 400k directly into the head. I wonder the, when you guys will show up. Because I haven't seen you for a long time. And you gave me... No okay. And you gave me nothing. Like literally nothing. Let's check this uh, side. Okay. This is also nice. Okay. Damage is increased based on the damage of versus Berserker. Okay, this is uh, almost a perfect roll. So we will keep it. Damage while berserking. Okay. Let's level up uh, higher again. How much damage do I get from this right now? 20%? Okay. Uh, awesome, let's go back to town. Salvage our gear a little bit and um, possibly put an end to this video. Possibly more than likely. Okay, I don't need this. Okay, this one's really good. But it's a it's not a sacred one. This one's bad. Pants are not a sacred. Can salvage these. Overpower maximum life. Did I do? Oh uh, yeah, we swapped a little bit this amulet. I think we can put this ring. Instead of this one.
What about this one? I don't do bleed damage, so we can put this one, I think. Maybe this one. What about the amulets? Um, this one it's not a sacred one. Uh, let me check the aspect. Okay, it's not good. Total armor. Not good. This one not good. This one, we should use maces, I think, with bash, probably. Who knows? Yeah, let's uh, salvage them. What about this one? Outburst. What is outburst? I do not know what is outburst. Okay, so it's the torn one, okay. It's bad. So let's not put that. Let's go and put uh, some aspects on these rings. So what did we had? Okay, we had this one, but I don't think we have it. Killing an Hitting, killing an enemy or hitting a boss with a core skill refunds 20% of the base skill. Yeah, I think it's better to have this. Uh, okay, this one should be... Where is it? Uh, not Umbral, uh, Echoing Fury. That's it. We can salvage these. Okay. I think the rest can be salvaged, right? No, this is good. Let's see what we can extract. So, this one is bad. This one is bad. This one is bad. Um, this one is a nice roll. This one is good. Not good. Um. This is 21, it's not good. Hmm. Not good. This one might be good. This one we need it. This one is bad. This one is bad. We need a whirlwind one. Okay, so right now, first of all, should I put... Uh, what about my resistances? Okay, still bad. Uh, let me put sockets and uh, upgrade a little bit my resistances. We are more. So we will wait for level sixty. Let's level the rings. 
Okay, we are starting to have a little problem with the uh, crystal veils, apparently. So let me take this right now. And salvage them because I really need them. Uh, I think I will salvage Aldo Ramaldi because I don't use it. I don't tend to use double swing, so. Fuck it. Okay, everything's leveled up. Next, uh, what should we do? Maybe we can uh, basically salvage them and uh, try to create new ones. So, uh, let's create like five of these. Light swatch, it's 15, it's a little higher. Sepulcher, we, not, we cannot use. Did fast, it's okay. Sepulcher, we cannot use. Grinding labyrinth, okay. Let's do it like this and we will do grinding labyrinth into the next episode. Okay, um, thank you for watching. I will see you into the next one. Have a great day. Bye.